hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently i call in only the purest of white light Whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you. It is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are being dismantled or dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay. All right. So someone out there, you have some type of court case going on, or you could have some type of situation going on. And there's some type of uh, interference behind the scenes to keep you stuck in some type of matter. This could be a relationship with this hierophant out here. This could be an institution trying to trap you. There's something where someone is trying to keep someone as stagnant so that they don't move forward. They don't move on with their life. They don't, they're not free. They don't have power. Someone is trying to dismantle you in a whole lot of different ways in every way, shape and form. You could be in like an unhappy relationship. It doesn't have to be marriage. But with this hierophant out here, this is letting me know that you are committed to someone in some way, shape, or form. This could be like a common law wife, common law husband that's trying to trap you with them. You are being told that regardless of what's going on, you need to keep moving forward because this is going to go in your favor. You garnering the strength to keep pushing forward is giving you some type of advantage. Something is going to be revealed to you or something is going to be uh, exposed to you as this case goes on or as this situation escalate um there is someone or a group of people behind the scenes trying to have you stuck in some type of unhappy union unhappy collaboration this is an institutional effort this is not just one person so for example let's say you're going through some type of divorce the woman that you are trying to divorce or the man that you are trying to divorce is working with either the court system behind the scenes or an institution behind the scenes to make sure that things go in her favor or his favor and you can stay stuck with them. But you are pushing forward. This is what you're being told to do is to keep moving forward regardless of what you see going on around you. You need to rely on your inner eye, that third eye of yours, right? You're someone gifted, you're in charge. You may not realize that you have control of the situation. So you need to look deep into what is going on. There's something here about an institution, something about a higher fence uh, that may be interfering behind the scenes or something like that, right? On the surface, everything looks good. Like you think everything is going accordingly. Maybe you don't know what people are doing behind the scenes, but you need to look deeper. There's something going on with this four of pentacles going on out here, okay? There is something going on. You're stuck in some type of I don't know what this is. This could be like a work situation. This could be like you, I don't know, you're suing your employer. I don't know if you're in going through divorce, whatever this is, but wherever you are in, you're not happy. You're overworked, you're tired, or you know, you're someone that works a lot to provide for either the person that's trying to leave you or the person you're trying to leave or your family and they don't appreciate you. There's something like that going on. But even if you don't see things clearly, you need to keep pushing forward. This is going to go in your favor, right? So someone may know you're trying to leave and start over. Yeah, that you're trying to leave and start over. Celebrate somewhere else, right? Start over brand new somewhere else. This is what you're trying to do. And whoever you are trying to leave is aware of that. So they may be doing things behind the scenes to cause blockages for you. Um, yeah, they're trying to cause blockages for you. They're trying, yeah. They're trying to pause something for you. Like this case, if this is a court case, they're causing some type of stagnation. Like they are prolonging things, causing some type of lag. They're dragging things instead of kind of speeding things up or just letting things go like they're supposed to. They're causing some type of stagnation. They want you to keep waiting and waiting and waiting something about a court case that like they want to keep dragging something out they'll either keep asking for a fatherance or something a continuance um and this is eventually going to lead to maybe you giving up this is what they are wanting to happen that every time you all appear in court they're going to ask for a fatherance and then 
they'll do it again, they'll do it again, and you all will appear in court so many times that you'll end up giving up and saying, well, I can't do this anymore. This is some type of strategic uh, plan that this person is using or this institution is using, and they may have people in the court system that's helping them do this. So just be mindful of that, okay? Just be mindful. Yeah, absolutely. Be mindful. Go within. Don't let anyone wear you thin. <laughs> Do not let anyone wear you out, okay? So they want you to feel like you don't have any power. You don't have any disadvantage. You're stuck. You're blocked. You don't have any way to go. But you're showing up here as the magician, meaning you have the authority. I'm telling you, I'm exposing someone's secret or an institution's secret right now. <laughs> <laughs> heck no nah. oh my gosh something is it i'm exposing something to someone there are efforts being made to keep something stagnant they're going to drag it out as long as possible you see this freaking uh, uh ten of wands out here this is like you going and you don't even know what direction you're going into you feel like you're almost at the finish line or you're almost at the finish line and you don't know that, but someone is trying to keep you stuck. They don't want you to see that you're almost there. And I'm exposing this to you. Something is revealed. All of your enemies are being revealed to you. I'm pretty sure you know what's going on around you by some means. Some of you know, some of you may not. I hope that's not the case, but I'm revealing the truth to you with this moon here in the, up, in the reverse, right? This secret is being revealed to you. I mean, revealed to you. Someone is trying to cause confusion. Someone is trying to just cloud your judgment, right? Cause a, a conflict and all kinds of stuff. What does this say? Confusion. Okay. Confusion, uncertainty, risky, lesser degrees of deception, lack of judgment and self-control. Irrational will end. Surface. I'm telling you. So with the surface, I am illuminating something to you something is no longer hidden someone is trying to take all of your power away from you your self-will with the magician out here this is letting you know that you are not at a disadvantage you have the power in the situation you have the advantage you just need to look deeper within what's going on but i guarantee you there's some type of hand because the justice card i know it's in the upright but there's a hand in something. Someone is meddling in something they should not be meddling in. Like they're going to keep saying, oh, we're asking for a fatherance. And then you show up in three months, right? They ask for another fatherance. You show up in another three months. They're going to keep doing that, keep doing that, and keep doing that until you are warm thing because they don't want you leaving. And if this is a divorce with this four of pentacles out here, which is what I'm getting, this is something to do with like a separation. This person the woman was about to come out this woman right is dragging this case out so that you can get frustrated right you can get agitated act out of character you may be in this energy where you're balanced you learn how to balance your mind your emotions your spirituality everything she wants to drag this out so long that you give up Someone may know that you are trying to have a brand new passionate beginning somewhere somewhere else, maybe with another energy. And she wants to drag this out so long that you lose your opportunity with that other person or you just, you know, you give up. You're like, well, I'm still married. I, I know I'm separated from this person. We're still legally married. The person I'm interested in does not date people that are married or people that are obligated. So I can go forward with them. This is what she's trying to do of him for those of you where this is a masculine this is what they're trying to do and i'm telling you this is being exposed to you with this moon in the reverse this woman is causing a lot why those women keep coming out it must be a woman that's doing this thing behind the scenes this has to be a woman that's doing this behind the scenes she's causing a lot of confusion a whole lot conflict confusion manipulation she wants you to be agitated. She said, oh, you want to leave me? Let's see how that's going to work. I'm the one with the family members in the court system or the friends in the court system. I have family members all over the place. Let's see how you're going to get out of this. She's exposed. That's what she's trying to do. So eventually what's going to happen is she's hoping you're going to kind of let go of all of the money or the assets you two have together. 
because if <clears throat> Lord, someone does not want this message out. Someone does not want this message out. Eventually, she believes that you are going to let go of all of the assets that you two have together. You two could have a lot of money. You may have built a really abundant life with this person, or you built an abundant life and they were maybe a stay-at-home mom or something. You two could have a business together, right? So you are financially attached to this person legally. And she thinks that after a while of dragging, causing lag and things like that, in this case, you are going to let go and just leave everything behind. And honestly, sir, that may be what you have to do so you can get your freedom. You never know what's, what you're going to have in the future. Someone today, <clears throat> sometimes I try to hold back my wisdom because I know sometimes it can be a little bit too much. Sometimes how you have to see a situation, someone can try to take everything from you to have you living in like in cultural ending. But the very thing they're trying to keep from you will end up being their ending, okay? So she can take all of this money from you, all of these assets. But this is someone that will end up alone, broken, unwanted, feeling bitter and things like that. And she will see you either get married, build a whole new life, living an abundant life. I wouldn't be surprised if the Ten of Cups ended up out here sometime in this reading. But this is more than likely what's going to happen to this person where you'll divorce them and they'll get all of the assets or the money and they'll be miserable. By the time you even get to where you are supposed to be, all of that will be gone because this is not someone that's good with managing money. This is someone that splurges, splurges a lot on the finer things in life. What I'm getting is that this is a feminine energy that likes to look good. I was about to say, look good for the gram. This is someone that likes to look good and impress people. So there's going to be some type of karma that's going to play out here. You yourself, I hate to tell you, sir, you're going through some type of karma yourself because I think you did something you were not supposed to do either with this woman or whoever else. I don't know if there's someone else that you are interested in, maybe a queen of cups that you are interested in. You may have done something to them and this is part of your karma coming, going through this experience. So maybe you caused this person financial loss. So this is you going through financial loss as well. And this is how things are being balanced out. Okay. The, the universe works in a very mysterious way. And this is going to be like your freedom paper. I'm telling you, I'm exposing the truth. I'm exposing the truth. This person want you flat out. They're trying to strip you of everything everything this person wants you destroyed even if this is not a relationship some type of business relationship that's going on a collaboration job position they want you flat out like if you're leaving us you can work anywhere else we're going to block all opportunities for you something like that don't worry about that kind of stuff because this is the time when the universe will allow you to start your own business. This may be what you need to do. Maybe buy your own land, buy your own property, do something, start your own business somewhere else away from these people so that you can take charge back of your life and your path. Because if you're showing up here as the magician, you are someone that is in charge of your destiny. Maybe you've given your power away to people. And this is why you feel stuck and things like that. Or you're so focused on the finances that you have with this person. This is what's causing stagnation as well. You keep thinking about, we have all this money together. We have all this business and stuff together. Okay. And we have the queen of pentacles down here. So this does more than likely have to do with some type of relationship. Lord, oh my goodness. Like something is exposed, something has been brought to the surface. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And someone has fallen from grace. You did something. You did something, sir. You did something. Something has, you have fallen from grace. Something is out of balance. 
you're going through some type of, I don't know what to call it, attunement. You're going through some type of healing process. You did something. I knew this was going to come out. You did something. And you're, you're going through karma for what you did. This is like, oh my gosh. This is like being broken down by the universe so you can be rebuilt. But you did something you were not supposed to do. Okay. Anyways, in the background of your situation, something is exposed about a plan to end someone. You, they don't want you working with another person, whether this is in a relationship or a business. They don't want you two working together, right? This is all being exposed. You partook in something you were not supposed to. Like all of you that participated in whatever this is, is going through an ending and it's just the beginning of whatever this is. This is not something that's just a one, two, three thing. This is going to be repeatedly and the universe is going to be hitting you all where you can feel it. I always tell people that try to sympathize with negative energy. You cannot sympathize with them. You cannot touch their heart. There's no heart there for you to touch. What happens is that the universe will hit them where it hurts, in their pocket, their loved ones, their favorite pets, business. That's how it works. Don't sympathize with any dark worker. It, 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 they don't speak that language. That's like you trying to speak French to someone that does not know how to speak French. There's no progress there. You're wasting your time. You are wasting your time. Don't try to rationalize with them. Do not try to get any type of emotional reaction out of them. They don't know those things. But the moment you touch their money, the moment a loved one passes away, the, the moment their favorite pet passes away, they lose a car, they lose their house, something, they're destabilized, uh-huh. That's when you get a reaction out of them. That's when now they'll realize, oh, this is what this person was going through. This is what I put this person through. Someone has lost their protection. You could have lost your protection because you have fallen from grace from what I see, meaning you may have subjected yourself to some type of financial gain that was not really a gain. It's like someone made you some type of promise if you indulge in something and you didn't realize it was going to get, it was going to escalate to this level. You started off as someone of high character. You're over there falling from grace. You did something. You, you fell from grace. Yeah, you did something. You did something. So this person trying to undo you is your karma. <clears throat> oh, you see that? Judgment. This was your karma. I'm telling you. Mm. This is why you have to be careful how you treat people, what you do to people. If you see someone, they look by themselves and you have a group of people that come together and decide to undo that person, bully someone, steal from someone, take from someone, block someone. Just because it looks that like they can get away with it does not mean you should participate in it. Say, oh, it's 600 of us and one of them. What can they do? You never want to. Do not participate in something like that. Because if you join something and it's, you need to look at how, at how many people there are in that group. And if all of them has, have taken shots at someone and they cannot take that person down, right? What makes you think that you joining that group is going to do anything? It's going to lead to some type of success. That means that that person has some type of protection over them that's not meant to be tempered with. You had protection with this justice out here and the temperance if it was in the, it was previously in the upright. We mean outside, listen. You were in the upright before. The fact that you're showing up in the reverse means that you were in the, in the upright before. So with the justice out here and this temperance out here means that you have protection, not just in the physical, but in the spiritual. You may have some type of protection in the physical now, but you don't have protection in the spiritual because you're falling from grace. You allow your enemy, you allow, allow someone to deceive you and mislead you. Now you no longer want to work with these people where there was supposed to be balance, healing, attunement, and things like that, you interfere. And now the universe is interfering with your destiny. Yeah. This is a lesson you had to learn. So yes, there is someone behind the scene interfering with your case. Listen, there is someone behind the scenes. 
Everyone is falling from grace. There's a high priestess out here in the reverse. Someone deceived you. Someone deceived you. And instead of you choosing to walk away, self-actualize and things like that, you decided to just do whatever. And you didn't think there would be any consequences. You thought you were just doing some little act. It was not a little act. You and the high priestess have fallen from grace. She lost her protection. She's not healing. Sis is going through a hard time. Okay? You're, whoever you were, I don't know, you're wanting to be with someone. You haven't healed yet. So I don't know if you can even go towards this person. Like you, you are busy right now. You did something for money. And you're not even going to be able to keep that money for long. There's a high priestess in here that's very superficial. This money that you got to do some type of work to temper with the justice system, you're not going to be having it for a long time. That's your curse that you accrue. Someone here is a high priestess, but they're not in alignment with their higher self. They do stuff for money. It's all about money. Someone is very superficial. I don't even know if this is a real high priestess. Everything about her is in the reverse. Someone has been causing a lot of deceit. You, the previous higher level soulmate, you fell, fell from grace. You've lost your abilities. God dang it. What the heck did it give you that made it worth all of this? You've lost your abilities. You can't see clearly anymore. Any type of intuitive gifts you had is all gone. It's been taken away from you. Your ancestors are stepping away from you. They've stepped away from you. I'm being corrected to say. Dang. You're having a hard time healing is what I'm being told. You're having a hard time healing. You all had a hand in blocking someone else's forward movement, and now you all cannot move forward. Someone was supposed to travel to do something. They're not able to anymore. Listen, someone was going to travel. There's a high priestess that was going to travel to do something to someone. She was going to do someone something. Some type of dark energy or she was going to come towards you, approach you, collective to do you something. She cannot. She's being blocked out of your energy. This masculine is being blocked out of your energy. What a hot mess. What in the world? Yeah. They're going through endings. What in the world is so worth people of that magnitude falling from grace? Do you know how hard it is to be a high priestess, a temperance angel or energy? Lord have mercy. Someone literally sacrificed themselves not realizing that that's what they were trying to do. You self-sacrificed. And someone betrayed you. The reason you're in this energy, the both of you are in this energy, is because of betrayal. This high priestess either betrayed you or someone behind the scenes betrayed you. You didn't know before, but now you know. Someone betrayed you. Someone took power into their own hands to betray you. So while you were betraying a star seed, you were being betrayed. You were deceived by the enemy. You thought the star seed was your enemy, but the whole time, you were sleeping with the enemy. And I don't mean literally, but I mean like they were right in your face. You were probably drinking coffee with this person, having lunches, breakfast, dinners, and things like that with this person, not knowing the whole time that you were sleeping with the enemy. And you are, I'm telling you, this person was hiding. They were wearing a mask the whole time, a facade. And the whole time you think, well, we, we're going to take this star seat down and the person or the people around you are laughing at you, unbeknown to you. So I don't know if this woman is trying to come towards you. I, I knew this car was going to come out. I knew it was going to come out. I knew this car was going to come out. This woman here. Mm. Piece of work. Piece of work. And sir, you have no one to blame but yourself. This is not one of those, oh, she told me to do this, or they told me this about you. Uh-uh. Back to this divorce situation, this separation, separation of 
access and things like that. Someone does not want you leaving. They're doing magic behind the scenes. They're interfering with justice. They're trying to block you from moving on. They don't want, to, want you to travel to have a brand new beginning in life, to build some type of empire. They don't want you traveling. This is what this is. They want to block that. So they're keeping you stuck in some type of court case. Ain't that something? You thought this was going to be the wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, court case. And the whole system is more than likely working against you. They have people in the court system, is what I'm being told. And they're interfering with your forward movement, you being able to travel. They said, oh, you want to travel when? Oh, I think we have a court date that day. We have a court appearance that day, a trial that day. And when you get there, they're going to ask for another furtherance. Like they're trying to make sure you do not leave to start a new family, to have a family somewhere. They want to keep you trapped in some type of unhappy family dynamic. You're not happy with whoever this is, but they don't want you starting over brand new. They want to keep you in some type of low vibrational energy where you're superficial, focusing on money and things like that. That she's trying to tell you, oh, look at everything we've built together. We have this much money. We have all the assets. We have this. We have that. Why would you want to leave that behind to have to start over new? You're not happy. You don't have fulfillment in life. This is what this is. You don't have fulfillment in life. You're stuck. You feel stuck in that family. I'm glad this came out in the reverse. You feel stuck in that family and you want to get out. You want to heal. Calmness, control, reduce anxiety, lesser hunting, pain, healing, recuperation, light is coming. Yeah. At, and just like I said, if you keep pushing forward, all right, exactly. But they don't want you leaving. They do not want you leaving. Someone said, I'll be damned if I see him happy with someone else. What is that Beyonce line? I'll be damned if I see another chick on your arm. Ring the alarm. I've been, yeah. And it's not, I don't know if the woman you are with is someone bitter and unhealed, but this woman would rather you be stuck in some type of unhappy relationship than for you to go and be happy with someone else. She don't care. You're trying to reason with a nutcase. You are trying to reason with a nutcase. This is someone that would possibly even rather see you on a live than to be with someone else. This is how desperate this woman has gotten. So you're going to have to find strength to keep pushing forward. You're going to have to find strength to keep pushing forward. I don't know what happened in you us on you us journey together that this woman has gotten this way or whoever this is, where she's turning to dark magic, causing a lot of deceit, lies, manipulation in the court system. There's a court case going on. There's a court case going on. But you're still going to get what you're supposed to. Things will still go out in your favor. You may have to start over brand new and build from the ground up. You're still going to have victory. So whatever experience you're going through right now is for your educational purpose. I'm so sorry to be laughing, but this is for educational purposes. You know we're in a school on earth. This is for you to learn. For you to ascend. Because right now, this is you. You're not self-actualizing. You're still blowing things up, is what I'm being told. You're blowing things up. You're not taking the time to self-actualize. You have too many voices in your ear, people around you keeping you busy so they can distract you, to keep you from self-actualizing. And there are things being revealed to you in your dreams as well, is what I'm being told. Pay attention to your dreams. Something is being revealed to you with this moon out here in the reverse. Something has been revealed to you.
So whatever it is you're wanting to go for, you need to go for it. Like take charge. I'm telling you. Yeah. I don't know if you're going through some type of financial like whatever this is you're going to have to let something go if you want to start if you want to have a brand new life like be able to build and have success but you feel trapped right now i don't know why i keep being told that you're you feel trapped you may just have to decide to let everything go leave the past in the past let her have it all if it makes her happy you don't care if she's happy or not but to give you your peace of mind this is what you're going to have to do. I feel like I'm giving a personal message, but I don't do a lot of personal messages. I'm not really even a fan of doing personal messages. <sighs> but someone is going through a bit of a fender bender. You could be someone with a lot of power and authority and you're coming out as stingy or something. I don't know what you are. You are confusing as heck. You are confusing as heck. I don't know if you're trying to come in and trick someone. Oh, no, you weren't. I think instead of you breadcrumbing someone, maybe now you are seeing them as wish fulfillment or something like that, or you're wishing to have something more with them. Honey, you guys are confusing me. But what is your wish for this person, with this person? Because I think initially you were planning to assist someone. Yeah, you were planning to assist someone, but you're not doing that anymore. Instead, your wish is to, are you either getting away from a, a privileged person or to end someone privileged? Someone privileged is going through an ending. That's all I know in here. So this could be the character you are with or you've been working with, but I guarantee you it's not the star seed. Someone is going through an ending. And like I was saying, you're going to have to let go or something. Like, I don't know what this is, but you're going to have to let go of something. There's something people are trying to take. They cannot have it. Someone caused a lot of betrayal to be able to steal something. They can't have it. Yeah. This came out like this, so I'm going to put it like that. Yeah, I said it. You've lost protection from your ancestors. Everything is going haywire. You lost protection from your ancestors. I knew this car was going to come out. You lost protection. Like everything I was saying is just being reiterated. You lost protection. You did something you weren't supposed to do. You were being challenged. You were being tested to step out on faith and do something. I don't know if you were supposed to assist someone and you chose not to. You were supposed to move forward, go somewhere, do something. You chose not to because you were ill advised by someone or you deny your intuition. You didn't listen to your intuition. So you decided not to move forward with what you were told to do by your ancestors. It would have let, if you would have done what you were told to do, you would have had this, but you're too much in your mind. You're easily led astray. You are man, uh, easily manipulated. You live in fear a lot. So you figured not doing what you were told to do by spirit 
what's the right thing so now you don't have any burdens to worry about everything is a okay because you chose not to do anything you didn't want to be an outcast and this is leading to some type of imbalance in your life this is leading to some type of imbalance in your life you may be losing finances end up losing finances something like you you made your own decision not to do what spirit told you to do and you think that was the right plan you thought that was the right plan but spirit is telling you you've lost protection you've fallen from grace you're not supposed to be someone that lives in fear anxiety uncertainty burdens and things like that so you're going through something so even though you chose not to assist someone <laughs> this is the this is the ramification of what it is because you disobey spirit you disobey the most high this is what fear this is what fear will cost you you've been showing up in my readings by this card a lot and it's been in the upright which means that you were living in fear of doing something living in fear of doing the right thing Damn. And sometimes this is how spirit operates. Like spirit will sit back. I'm telling you, you're not. You see this here. You were ill advised by someone. You didn't do the right thing. She's not happy. You're not happy. All of you are going through something because you you falling from grace. There's no team we're going on. There's no peace amongst you all. Whatever family you were supposed to assist or whatever this is. Yeah, honey. Who? Or whatever family you've been working for, they're happy that you didn't assist someone. I'm trying to get clarity on this message. There's a family that's happy that you didn't take any action to go and assist someone or bring balance into a situation. They're happy about that, except they're about to lose something even bigger. They're losing something even bigger. Someone is falling from grace. Someone is not about to be of high honor. What does this say? Ignore interpersonal relationships, lonely, emptiness, depressed, dissatisfaction, overindulgence, materialism luxury so you disobey spirit to maintain some type of lifestyle and your ancestors are like okay well we're backing away you obviously haven't learned your lesson this lifetime and you did this so that you could maintain some type of finances meanwhile you don't realize the people around you are working against you to keep you trapped and you basically sign, seal, deliver your own ending. Dang. Everyone around you is working against you. So the one action you were supposed to take to change your path so you can end up on the right one to fulfillment, uh-huh, you didn't choose that you choose to make an institution happy a group of people happy they are fighting amongst themselves and they're under some type of delusion that they've won a battle they haven't won a battle i'm telling you they haven't won a battle they didn't win this they're all betraying you these people have programmed you in a good way to cause yourself endings. <laughs> Your enemy has mentored you, tutored you, teached you, educated you in the right way how to cause yourself endings by instilling fear into you. 
and they've mastered that. They have your mind mastered. Now that you didn't take action to move forward, you're unable to heal, you're heartbroken. This is what you're going through. You and someone behind the scene, a feminine energy that thought she was of high honor, someone that pretends to be something she's not. She's going through her ending too. You're unable to heal. You're going through some type of betrayal, not by one person, but by a whole family. People you consider to be family and friends. This is what's going on. You are being tested. You were being tested. <laughs> and the decision you made was not the right one. You play with your own destiny. You played with your own destiny. Every time spirit tells you to do something and you disregard them, that's you playing with your destiny. Sometimes we build some type of life. We get so comfortable in it. We don't know what's going on in the background. But because it looks good, on the surface, we think we're all peachy, peachy clean. We're good to go. Like we're happy. It's all sunshines and butterflies. All sunshines and butterflies. And spirit will tell us you need to leave. You need to leave because they're warning you that something is about to go down. A storm is coming. A storm is coming and they're telling you you need to leave. You need to leave. But you, you decided to stay. You decided to stay and collaborate. And this is about to cost you a hefty price. You falling from grace. You've lost more than the material wealth that you are trying to hold on to. You've lost a lot more than you realize you've lost. You may not even be able to comprehend what you've lost right now until later on in life. So you're sitting back and thinking that you have made the right decision by not taking any steps to do what spirit guided you to do. Oh, it's, a, it's okay. Whoever you were supposed to, I don't know what you were supposed to do with this person. I, I really don't know. But they're going to be okay. You, on the other hand, you're about to go through some type of lesson. Yeah. You're about to go through some type of lesson. You have people around you playing with you and you don't even know. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> this family is playing you. You're under some type of delusion that you're all in the clear. This whole family is under some type of delusion. That they've had some type of victory. It's a short-lived victory. It's a false victory. What does this say? Intense negativity, lack of wisdom, short-lived short victory, chaos, destruction, anarchy, wrong decision, unfulfilled ambition. I'm telling you, you've been led astray by a whole group of people. These are people you even call family. I don't know what kind of family dynamic this is, but they led you astray. They thought they won. They were all in the clear. They're not. The storm is coming. It's what I'm being told to tell you all. The storm is coming. This, this family manipulated you to not do what you were being guided to do. And now you're going to be with them. <laughs> You were told repeatedly, go for it, go for it, go for it, take action. And you didn't. <clears throat> you see this family here? This four of pentacles here? Usually it has to do with feeling stuck, being stagnant, possessive, greed. This is this family. They thought they had victory over someone. It's not. It's a short-lived victory. They're like, oh. We got to manipulate him so that he wouldn't take action. We blocked her help. We blocked his help. Whoever you're supposed to help, him, she, him, who, whoever, honey. Excuse me. 
I'm telling you, someone don't want this message out. Whoever you are supposed to help, they're going to be a okay. Spirit always has them covered. You, on the other hand, you're starting a brand new path of difficulties. Like you're about to be losing things back and forth, back and forth. Like you've trapped yourself with someone, either in a marriage or group of people, that is about to teach you a lesson in the hardest way possible. When you're done going through this, you'll be a brand stinking new person. And next time spirit tells you to move, you're going to move. You are going to move. Telling you, you're playing with yourself. <laughs> you're playing with yourself. This family has mentor you on how to cause yourself stagnation they have you stuck you think you're wealthy how are you wealthy but people can play with your wealth and keep it away from you you try to leave they say well if you leave i'm taking everything are you are you really wealthy hmm you're playing with yourself you made a decision that was not in your favor. You juggled yourself. I'm telling you. You juggled yourself. This is what's coming. You see how you're going from here? Exposure. You're, you, you're sitting here looking all pretty, content, fulfilled. Bam. You see that? So, I just heard move in silence, whatever that is. I don't know if someone is moving in silence to do something. Whatever you're doing. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. What is this? Okay. Now I'm seeing something here, Lord, have mercy. I can't voice it. I can't voice it. Mm. It's a whole team behind the scenes. A whole team behind the scenes working against you, sir. This is one of those things where you've known people for, I don't know, 40 years. And, and none of them loyal to you or each other. And you meet someone one day. Just one day, that's all you need. And they changed your life because of their genuine olive branch that they offer you, not expecting anything in return. This is what this is. Hmm. This queen of pentacles here, she's going through an ending, self-sacrifice. She martyred herself. This person here, this queen of pentacles, I don't know if that's your wife, you're whoever, someone even, huh, this, this sister here, not doing too well. Not doing too well. And she's walking around acting like everything is okay. It's not okay. Someone is broken on the inside, I'm telling you. And they're all burdened because whoever you all have been coming after knows the truth. She may want to go pick a fight with someone, honey. You better turn away and walk away. People don't got time for your nonsense out here. You need to grow up. This could be someone's wife, someone's baby mama, someone's mother out here acting like a child, wanting to pick a fight. Pick a fight, but you best, but we best make sure you pick a fight with the wrong lazy one. But if you pick a fight with the wrong feisty one, you may they may find you in a hospital. They may have to take you to a hospital. This you stalking a whole nother person online. How are you stalking someone online at your age? At your age. This woman sees another energy as young, vibrant, beautiful. And she may want to approach her to say something to her. And them ancestors are like, I wish you would come in her energy. You're trying to pick a fight with a younger energy, ma'am? You need to sit down somewhere and be ashamed of yourself. Right. Uh-huh. This family here, whoever this is, short-lived victory because the decision has already been made. 
for this partnership to come into being. So as I started in my message before, you fell from grace because you didn't do something you were supposed to, whatever this is, this is for a masculine. Whatever this is that you were supposed to do with, but by the order of source, what, honey, I am so like just over this whole message because there's just too much going on. You're going to have to push forward, sir. Eat your humble pie, whatever this is. It's what I'm just telling you what I'm being given to tell you. So good thing you don't know me. I don't know you, so you can't come for me. You are going to have to push forward. Let go of your burdens of wanting to hold on to whatever superficial wealth this is here. Make the decision to partner up with, I don't know who this is, a masculine energy you want to partner up with, a feminine energy you want to partner up with in business. You may have some type of emotions for this person as well. But what I'm more so getting is that there's a decision that has been made. You want to work with someone. Your mind, you're in your mind a lot, but I think you're getting over that. And you're going to have to after you eat this humble pie. After you eat this humble pie, because everybody has to learn a lesson. When spirit tells us to do something, we got to be respectful, obedient. You know, people said people would judge my kind of people. We that are spiritual because we talk about, you know, listening to what spirit is telling us to do, to move. And people call us the crazy ones. And they say they're the religious ones, right? They're the ones that understand how Jesus works how God works, but when God tells them to do something, they don't even flinch. If I do that, they're going to disown me. I'm going to be in exile. I'm going to lose all this money. Oh, you want to tell me you're not listening to God because of money? Is that what that is? That like someone has so much power over your mind that God, the one that created you, Told you to do something and you said, mm -mm, I don't want to be part of that. I don't, I don't want to upset my master. Master said, no. Master, I told God, no. Master, I just want you to know. Master, master, please, master, please. I told God, no. I, he told me, he tells me, go, go, he tells me, go there. I said, no, I not go there. This is what's going on here. You have to have unwithering faith in God to do what they're telling you to do regardless of what's going on around you. <laughs> yeah. You see this, sir? You're going through a whole lot. You could end up being one of the person that ends up seeing someone like on TV, being in, uh, 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 someone of affluence, influential, and you're there yelling at the character next to you that you choose, telling them, see what you cost me? Nah, you can't yell at that woman, that new woman. You can't yell at that woman that you chose to stay with, that institution you ch chose to stay with. You can't yell at them because you chose to make that decision. Everyone is responsible for their own destiny. You cannot blame another person for the choice you made. I don't care about peer pressure. We all tell our children, don't fall for peer pressure. When you go to school, just because someone is drinking and smoking does not mean you should too. If someone offer you drugs, do not participate. And then when we go to work or we go amongst our friends as grown up, we see them doing something and they tuck us into doing it. What do we do? We participate because we don't want to be the outcast in the group. How old are you? This is why it's absolutely imperative to have an identity of thyself. 
most of you that watch my videos, you haven't met me. There are people that watch it that have met me because I work with them. They're into stalking. Hi there, folks. I hope you learn one or two things on my platform as you continually return here. But one thing you'll find out about me is that I am very weird and I love that. I am so weird that I have people that think I'm mentally unstable. Because, honey, I move to my own beat, the beat of my own drum, my own rhythm. Sometimes it's not even rhythmic. The rhythm is not rhythmy. But, honey, oh, if there's one thing Cynthia is going to do, is move to the beat of her own drum. Because I don't have nothing to prove to anyone. I am too old to be out here trying to prove my loyalty to anyone. Honey, I'm 32. My high school days are long gone. My middle school days are long gone. Elementary days are long gone. I don't got to prove a goddamn thing to anyone. Not what's in my account, which is nothing. Not the car I drive. Not the house I live in. Nothing. Clothes, shoes. I don't got to prove nothing to anyone. I don't give two hoots. You're going to think what you want to think. If it makes you happy, think it as much as you want to. But one thing I know is when people meet me, they don't know what the heck to think. Because I'm weird and I choose to be weird. <laughs> That's because I have my self-identity. You never know what I know, what I don't know. Because I'm very good at playing along with your stuff. I'm, honey, someone got peer pressure into blocking their own destiny, and they don't know that. Someone got pre peer pressure into blocking their own destiny. And this person was told by spirit, move in silence. Someone was told by spirit, move in silence. And I don't know what this is. With this pentacles, this page of pentacles out here and this uh, 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 six of pentacles out here in the reverse, what I'm seeing is that someone was supposed to take charge, take action to go and balance something out, but they didn't. Instead, what they did, because by not taking that action, being initiated, taking their power back, and balancing the situation out, they manifested some type of complication for themselves, by the way, not for the person they refused to balance things out for by some type of, I don't know, action or clarity. Maybe they were supposed to send a letter or something like that, whatever this is. And then you have someone in here that's being exposed. Someone has been pretending to be modest and they're being reviewed as someone that is not modest. Someone can't pretend anymore to be in the upright. She's not modest. She's going through her ending. And you collective, People don't even know how it is you are still moving on about. <clears throat> mm -hmm. This queen of pentacles here may have some legal issues coming in. Someone does not have protection from her ancestors. Someone does not have protection from her angels. She's not being lifted up. Someone has a whole lot of legal issues coming in because of actions she took behind the scenes. This could be the woman maybe from my last reading that was telling someone not to send a letter or something. And he was <laughs> whooshing like an eagle flying away to go, <laughs> to go present the letter. <laughs> oh, that message had me cracking up last night. He said, please, please, please. Don't send it. That man said, whoosh. 
whoosh, I'm out of here. Yeah, he's still presenting that. Hmm. Someone has fallen from grace. It's a sad day. It's a sad day. So something you didn't do, another person is more than likely going to be stepping in to do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you. Someone else is going to be doing. You have some things to figure out with yourself. It's a whole family out here that was celebrating some type of victory. Is that one of the, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you mean we didn't destroy this person? We don't have them trapped? And then, no, this person is not trapped. You see that right there? The difference between the four of pentacles and this uh, page of cup? This person is lively. They are free, you. And then this one is all, oh, I got to hold on to this little bit. This is my money right here. I can't go nowhere. If I leave, this is going to happen. Living in uncertainty. Second guessing themselves. Being possessive of the very little that they have. Only if they knew letting go of the little that they have, this will be them. A new beginning. This is what you were supposed to have. And you are going to be successful. You see this here? If you have... Please pay attention to the cards. If you would have done what you were supposed to do, move forward. This will be you. And you see how it starts here and ends here. This will have been you. This will have been you. If you would have chosen to live in your truth, this will be, will be you as well. In a partnership with no secrets. No secrets. Okay, just a bear. Someone's been lying about some type of relationship too. I don't know if there's a work affair going on, something like that. Someone may have lied about having some type of romance with another character. Something like that is going on. Honey, I don't care about this mess. Whenever you have to lie about your ding dong, it's a problem. It's a problem, yeah. And because you chose not to do the right thing, you went from being a magician to the eight of swords. You're trapped. You trapped yourself. My message is just being confirmed. You trapped yourself. And you have no one to blame but you. And you keep going back and forth in your mind about making this offer, presenting this offer to someone, sending a message about this offer. You're in your head a lot. Oh. You're wearing me out. I'm tired. I'm tired, sir. I'm tired. It's coming in the reverse, sir. Oh, Lord have mercy on you. This is what happens when you don't self-actualize. There's no introspection. You don't have introspection. You're trapped in your mind about, I don't know, letting a job go, wherever it is. You've limited yourself. You've limited yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're, are you under some type of contract? Some type of work contract? Because literally when I put the higher thing down, the work contract came to mind. I'm telling you, are you under some type of work contract? And you're going to have to let go. You're trying to hold on to that position. Like you're stuck in your mind. You think that's the end all be all kind of work. It may be like salary or something. You're going to have to let go. You're, tra you're trapped in more ways than one. And you're under some type of illusion that you're in the clear. You're not in the clear. You're going to have to still move on, dear. You're still going to have to move on. Sorry to tell you, whether you do it for the now situation or in the future, you're still going to have to let go. 
if I was you, you best do it now. The earlier, the better, so you can heal. And if you end up in some type of situation later, you have more time to enjoy life with that new partner, traveling, I don't know, building businesses, growing businesses, whatever it is. You may want to see it that way, but the longer you take, this is going to be you. This is going to be you living in uncertainty, fear, because these people now know that you have some type of intention of wanting to leave. You can't stay in that kind of situation because every move you make for the rest of your life around these people, they're going to be watching you. They're going to be watching you. So whether it's now or later, you're still going to have to, I'm telling you. When you leave, your abundance will be available to you. Your true abundance. Your true abundance. Someone knows whoever you're going to is an, is an empress. They're like, oh, I can't com compete with that heifer. We know she's a real empress. We, we've told all the lies we could tell about her and nothing is sticky. He knows the truth, but we got to make sure he don't leave here. We got to make sure he don't leave here. <laughs> Ooh, the King of Cups has stepped in. King of Cups said, mm-mm. See that? Someone is still abundant. And this woman, I don't know if you're still trying to go to whoever this is. This woman is going to be okay. She's going to be okay. There's some type of delusion going on here. It's like a group of people think they're very powerful. They don't have any power. It's a delusion. It's an illusion. There's no power. These people are in debt to a lot of people. They're in debt. I don't know why I'm being given that. Someone is still going to receive an elevation in life, some type of promotion. And I'm not meaning like just at a job, but in life period. And it's going to be because of the work that they do. They have some type of skill. Some type of skill that's going to elevate this person. And there's nothing you all can do to block that. You're not trapping anyone with you. This is like offering an empress energy or position so you can trap them. You're not doing it. This person has a brand new offer somewhere else in life that's coming towards them. Like everything is already set up for this person. So you trying to send a message to this person about a, an offer, a position. I said message and disappear at the bottom. You trying to send a message to this person to keep them trapped in some type of, I don't know what this is. It's not happening. You better not. Things are just going to get worse for you. It's just going to get worse. This this is this is one of the I'm telling you it's gonna get worse for you. You see this? You're trying to present some type of offer to someone to cause them an ending. It's not like you you're getting worse and worse. You don't went from the eight of swords to the freaking death. Don't do it. Do not do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do not do, try to deceive an empress energy. The karma is a little bit too heavy for you. You literally went from a two of swords, eight of swords, death. And that could be literal. Or it could just be you losing everything. 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 Someone is, you're not going to be able to trap someone. You're trying to come in and present yourself to be something you're not. You won't be able to. Someone can see right through you all. Someone can see right through you all. Mm. 
someone can literally see right through you all. I'm telling you, this was coming sideways. I'm going to put it here. Yeah, you're not able to finish a chapter because you didn't take the right actions. Mm -hmm. You didn't follow Spirit's guidance, so you're not able to finish a chapter. You're stuck in something for now. Yeah. You all weren't able to end someone as well. You were trying to end someone's livelihood, your career, their forward movement. You're not able to. Someone is still moving forward. If it's their queen of swords, this could be the collective. Yeah, your enemies were not able to end your livelihood, your future. They were trying to block you. This was a lot of masculines too in this group coming for a feminine energy and they're not able to end you. Yeah, telling you, they're fighting. They're fighting. Dang. These people are fighting. How are you trying to bring uh, drama to someone, but you bring it to yourself? That's how spirit works. They're fighting because they don't want an empress energy receiving some type of opportunity, position, right? Something like that. And you have a masculine in here that's about to lose everything for coming after a feminine energy. I'm telling you, these people are not happy. That victory was really short-lived. You see how this five of cups came right before? Honey, that victory was short-lived. There's smoke on the mountain. Where there is smoke, there's fire. It's a whole blazing flame going on. <laughs> Woo! Lord have mercy. Mm. Yep. I don't even want to keep going because these people, I'm telling you, these people, they don't know what they've done to themselves. These people don't know what they've done to themselves. And they're all, I'm telling you, they don't know what they've done to themselves. You're going to have to put an end to your imprisonment because you're really, technically, the one holding yourself in prison. So it's up to you to end your own imprisonment because the eight of swords has to do with us feeling confined, blocked, stuck, 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 all right, mentally in prison. We, because we're mentally in prison, then that means that we feel physically constrained, that we can't move forward. And once you put an end to that, then you'll be able to move forward into the sunshine. Mm. there's a king of pentacles in here someone is not skilled someone pretends to know something they don't know someone pretends to be very committed hardworking. they're not someone is very pretentious i'm just going to start commenting on the characters i see in this freaking story but this king of pentacles is not someone that's hardworking. someone is very vain may have done something for money and now he's going through some type of loss he may be losing a house losing his stability someone thought he had enough money in in carpet possibly in his bank account to see something blow over he didn't i think i warned someone before in a reading about that they thought they were secure and said you know what i have this amount of money in here by the time this is over i'll be okay no i won't be able to splurge and go out and have ice cream anymore whatever that is or go out and get drunk or something, whatever it was he was doing. Um, it's not so, sir. Okay? Okay. Something has been looked into, the truth about someone's work, someone's ethics, someone's morals. The truth is exposed. There's been a lot of lies being told, and the truth is being exposed, or it's been exposed. Is that someone has some type of malicious plan to come in and give you an offer? 
just so they can trap you in something and it's not going to work and because they want you then to let go of something else so you can be destabilized or something and be trapped in something having to depend on this person for offers and opportunities for help no the universe says that you are meant to be free this is why we have this card as at the end you are meant to be free positive a light bringer a light giver inspiring keep your mind on positive thoughts keep your mind on positive thoughts i always like to see the car we started with and the car we ended with okay things are going in the right direction you're in the clear collective karma is in your favor justice is in your favor so things are moving in the right direction and it doesn't matter what kind of interference people do you're still in the clear mm. people could be fighting with a mother energy as well a wife energy because she wouldn't let something go someone is trapped with some type of crazy woman honey listen let us read our angel number message and be on our way mm. oh we have four today okay okay now four is for protection guidance uh -huh. okay oh completion something is done Think, uh, think the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. I am unique. Okay, I think I mentioned that on the reading. 555. Five, five. Okay. A major shift is about to come into lower life experience and change your path direction. Be open and stay positive. I am optimistic. Mm, mm, mm. something i'm also getting is that something is not over for you collective something that you thought was dead and gone is coming back into your life and it's going to lead to some type of new beginning for someone out there something is not over okay 22 which is for another protection you are in possession of incredible creative powers and it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish I am aligned. Okay, now, and the sun is out here. You're in perfect alignment. Perfect alignment. Hey, hey, hey. 777, seven, seven, okay? Your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. I am in the flow. Okay, and with that said, Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.